Hey guys, Cage Marie here, back at you with another haul video. This is mainly focused on garage sale finds and a couple thrift store finds. All of these right here are from thrift stores, so I'm going to go through them real quick. These are, these are all Revere wear. I think that's how you say it at least. It's upside down, but you can get the gist of it. <laughs> Picked all these up. I've heard some people talk about them recently. Kayla's been talking about them a lot on her channel. Homeschooling Picker, if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. But these are all Revere wear pans. I paid right at three or four bucks for some of these. I think I paid like a paid a dollar for this one. So it's got like the copper bottom. So I'll have to do some cleaning up on them, but I think they're pretty good. A lot of them are the nine inch. They're all different styles, but I think they're all worth it. At least I hope they are. <laughs> I also got this at a thrift store for three dollars. It's a Canon Sure Shot Sure Shot 85 zoom. This thing was worth, I think. 25 or 30 bucks, so I picked it up. We got each one of these pairs of shoes for eight bucks each at a thrift store. So, actually already sold these by the time, actually you'll be seeing this video before I show the what sold. So this will appear in the what sold video coming up. <laughs> got this little doll, not really sure what it is, but they were basically given four for a dollar and I found three plush, which I'm gonna show in a separate uh, haul, show the plush in a separate haul, but this little girl came in that, so. I haven't really looked too closely to see what she is, but I'm sure I'll be able to find out pretty easily. If you know, let me know. And then I also got this Jessie doll. Her head, I think her head can move. Yeah, her head moves around. Also came with the hat. Not really sure what era, like Toy Story 2, 3, or 4, because obviously Jessie wasn't in Toy Story 1, but Jessie was in Toy Story 2 and 3. And I think she was in 4 as well. I've only seen it once, so I don't really remember for sure. I got two PS4s. I paid $150 for both of these. I don't know if I should have bought them or not <laughs> because I don't know if they work or not. <laughs> but I did buy them, so they're mine now. And I pay, the person was asking $200 for these, and I paid $150. I said, would you take $150? At that same spot, I got this pair of shoes for $30. These will go for over $100. So... I didn't want to pay that much, but whenever I saw the comps and I was trying to make up for maybe making a bad buy on those, <laughs> I was like, well, they're in good condition and they sell for over a hundred, so why not? At another garage sale, I got this Roomba for $15. You can say, oh, it looks like it's in pretty sad shape, but it also came with a bag of accessories uh, that I'm going to try and get to back here, right here. This bag of accessories came with it. And it's basically all new parts, which I think will make me over 15 bucks easily. Giveaway gift only for Roomba 500, 600, 700. Maybe I can use it, even use it for my Roomba that I have. It has this little, these little things. These uh, block the Roomba from hitting like a dog water bowl or something like that. It keeps the Roomba from going in that area, keeps it away. And it did, I turned it on and it actually did work. So that's a good, a good sign for the accessories at least. I got this... Per Pearls Perilous. I'm not even sure how to say this brand. It's a local brand here that does pretty well. I think that's just uh yeah, that comes off. But I don't really pick up clothing too much, but garage sales you can usually get it for pretty cheap. Speaking of clothing, cheap. I got this North Face pink zip full zip women's sweater. I'm assuming it's women's. I think it it actually did say women's. That was like two dollars. Let's see, I got this Sony, or not Sony, Canon digital video camcorder for five bucks. Comes with the accessory, comes with like the charger and other stuff as well. So that was a nice pickup. I got this little thing of Pokemon. <laughs> if you see one you want, let me know. Uh, I see Pikachu. A lot of these are Pokemon that I don't even recognize, but I'm pretty sure most of them are Pokemon. If you notice some that aren't Pokemon, let me know, but... I'm pretty sure these are all different Pokemon. That might be Moltres right there. I don't know for sure. But the lady uh, was getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I happened to see these little Pokemon figures. That's maybe Sparrow. Spiro? I don't remember. A lot of Pokemon stuff. <laughs> I also saw this in a recent video that Kayla did. It's a I think it's a Space Saver can opener. I know it's a can opener. I just think it's one of the space saver ones as well. That was four dollars at a thrift store, St. Vincent de Paul, on Starring Lane in Baton Rouge. 
I got some hats as well. This Pennzoil Racing hat. I think I paid two bucks for these hats. And then I got two Louisiana Tech hats. These I'm probably going to keep for myself. They're new with tags, so sounds pretty good to me. And then I got this Red Tails hat for a dollar or two as well. Typically in my area, I'm paying a dollar or two for hats. That one looked really cool to me, and I think it had comps of 20 or $30. Next up is two Hatchimals. Let's see. I think they both worked. That one does. And... Yep. They both work. So I picked those up. They were... Uh, Part of, part of a two for dollar deal. So now I gotta turn them off if they're turning them on. <laughs> if I don't turn them off, they're gonna keep making noise the whole time. At least I think they will. That one might be like a peacock, I think. Just a second. There we go. <laughs> Got them off. Okay. This thing. Uh, this was. They had a huge neighborhood garage garage sale in one area I was in and the same guy that asked for video games all the time was asking for video games again but he passed this up that's what like I I guess it makes sense for people if they get enough video game stuff out of it but to me it's not always enough for me just to ask for video games and get rejected every time but I'm guessing he gets stuff at some points but this I paid 15 for this and I also got three plush as well for 15 that was 15 for this and then each plush was like 50, 50 cents but I asked if you take 15 for all and he said yes this thing's worth 50 or $60, and it's new in the packaging. Also got some books. Shout out Katie Reads. Been looking at some books. Anytime I go to garage sales, I like looking at books because I'm one of the first people to see those books. Unlike a thrift store where I could look forever and I might not find a single book, these were all worth at least 10 bucks each, and I paid a dollar each. Some of these, are, I think, are nursing books. Uh, this is radiography. This one is worth, I think, 40 maybe there's a nursing this one is actually new in the packaging still this one under here not sure if i actually went to look it up because i didn't see the barcode but for a dollar for a new new book and i might not be able to sell it as new i just have to i need to inspect it to make sure but i took the chance i'll be back in a second with some more at the same sale where i got the pokemon stuff i got some cool star wars books Actually, just one book. <laughs> I got that Star Wars book, and I got all these Goosebumps books. It's a lot of the Goosebumps Most Wanted series by R.L. Stein. None of these books are worth that much, but if I just combine them all together, uh, I think I can get some good money out of it. It's also got some Slappy World in here as well. And Ghost Next Door, Night of the Living Dummy 2, most, another Most Wanted. So a lot of Most Wanted's. Haunted Car. I don't know, were you ever into Goosebumps when you were a kid? <laughs> I kind of was. I liked Animorphs better, I think, than Goosebumps, but I just wanted to show you all, all of these real quick. And then a couple more. Another haunted car. All right. At one garage sale, I got this along with some other random technology electronics lacrosse technology it's like a weather mapping station i don't know if it works but i'm gonna find out and then i got this box of like walkie talkies slash electronics uh paid 15 dollars for this and the next item i'm gonna show including that lacrosse technology this little santa santa Gein, however you say that uh, and then this, this charger i looked at, i did look this up this was worth around 30 or no, 25 to 30 I might have to take that off because it says State of Louisiana <laughs> State Police. So whoever had this, I guess, might have been worked for the police at some point. I don't know for sure, but it's like a Motorola, uh, something that cops used, I guess, to communicate. But the best find of that sale, I think, were these. They're originally asking 15 for the electronics and 5 for these. These are Harley Davidson motorcycles, boots. So I had to, I, I was surprised when she said five bucks for these. They are size 11, so they're actually almost my size, but I'm not going to wear if that's a men's size, which I think it is. I think that's men's. But, so, I mean, they do show a little bit of wear and tear, but overall the shoes were in very good condition. I might have to use some little shoe shining on there to get it cleaned up, but 
a lot of the dust is coming off right there anyways. So that's it for that part. Also picked up this little electronic skillet. It I can't remember what brand it is, but for two bucks I wasn't gonna pass it up. I think it was worth it when I looked up the comps. I did pick up this thing as well, word around. It's three dollars, sells on Amazon for like fifteen, so I'll make three or four bucks. Might not have been my best buy, but this one definitely wasn't my best buy. This connects roller coaster. I thought it was new in the packaging, but it turned out it wasn't. It did I did come with the, or it did come with these, so it helps you like view it. You're not gonna see anything there, but I don't know. I picked it up. Probably shouldn't have. The first day I went to last weekend had a Wii, and they were asking, basically they were telling me, name your price. <laughs> I said, typically I'm paying anywhere between 10 and 20, so they said, how about 20 bucks? So I paid 20 bucks for this Nintendo Wii, along with the nunchuck games and everything else. It had the instructions manual. It has Wii Sports, which is good, because Wii Sports is worth about 20 bucks by itself. It has Mater National, Wipeout. Rayman, Speed Racer, and Pac-Man Party. So those five or six games, along with the controllers, which are kind of sticky, so I might have to do some work to get that cleaned up. But they also said something about having a Xbox like 360 or something, and I said, how much? And they said, $100. <laughs> I was like, what? That's not what I said, but that's what I thought in my brain. was like, What? How are you asking 100 bucks for that? You're only asking 20 for this. So, needless to say, I did not pay for the Xbox. And yeah, but I did find one later. This is the next find. This is Nintendo GameCube. Funny story. I got the that little camcorder I showed earlier. Got that at the sale across the way from this one. I went over to this one and I was looking through a ton of CDs and I happened to see this Lord of the Rings Return of the King Nintendo GameCube. So I go up, I, you know, this game's really not in the best condition. I am not convinced it's going to work. It probably will not. I don't know, though. But I asked them, do you have any, uh, do you have the system that this goes with? And he said, I believe so. So he went up and got it, and uh, it came with the, obviously it has two controllers right here. These two controllers, which are in really good shape. Everything works well. And it also came with the obviously with the GameCube, and the game in there is Zelda, I believe is what it said. Yeah, Zelda Window Window Waker. That's a lot better condition than the other one. <laughs> this game alone is worth, I think, around 40 or maybe not that much, but the, the game is worth a decent amount as well. It doesn't come with a case or anything, but I think that was a decent buy. I probably... Like I always do, I always paid too much. I probably should have started at 30 instead of 50 because he asked me to name my price, and I said 50 But, yeah, and also lesson learned. I, <laughs> I was almost out of money at that point for all these garage sales. I should have brought more, apparently, on that day. But luckily I had a 100 stuffed in my wallet somewhere. I pulled that out, and they took it and then gave me $50 and change. <laughs> Last couple items, thrift store finds, this Miami Heat shirt, paid Fifty or dollar uh, twenty-five. This is a Disney twenty nineteen shirt, and I paid dollar twenty-five for that as well. Paid a dollar ninety-nine for all of these Memorex blank cassette tapes. I think they were going for twenty-five or thirty for all of them together. Last item. This is the sale where the guy was asking for video games. I happened to pick up this Xbox three hundred and sixty for five dollars. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like lately I've been finding, uh, every weekend I've been finding some Xbox 360 for 5 or 10 bucks, super cheap. <laughs> I guess everybody doesn't like their Xbox 360 anymore, but they, except, for that one, except for that one where they're asking 100 for it, this one was only 5 And also I picked up this little Xbox 360 Connect for $5. It also came with a couple Xbox uh, cords as well. They didn't have the system like this sale did. So these are two separate garage sales, but it's an item that goes with it. So I might might just lop those together. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I like doing garage sale hauls along with plush hauls. I'll have a plush haul next week for y'all along with that features a lot of garage sale finds from 
uh, a lot of these sales I went to I also found plush at, but I'm saving those for a separate video. So don't forget to leave a like, comment with what your favorite item I found was. Mine might be those boots right there. I don't know. We'll have to see how everything else looks out. That camcorder might be worth a decent amount too because it's Canon. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.